Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill. And in this video, first of all, I am cleaning up a really messy job right now because last night we went to bed without doing our chores. So this was still last week. Um, my oldest two had fevers this night. I also, this, I'm talking about the night before what you're seeing here. I also didn't feel good the night before. So what ended up happening was we all just went to bed without doing the chores. So today, the day I was filming, I had a bunch of pots and pans from the night before and from the current morning. Just food everywhere. It just was really gross. It, I hate, I hate, hate, hate when I wake up to a messy kitchen. So anyway, I just started off by like soaking all the pots and pans and then starting my other chores while those soaked for a little while. All right, step one is done. Everything is soaking. Hey guys, I am super excited to talk to you about my Yeedy Cube Robot Vacuum and Mop. This vacuum has an auto mop drying function. It has auto mop washing, auto mop lifting. It has a 4,300 PA powerful suction, sonic mopping with one liter water tank, it's compatible with Alexa, it works on hard floors, it works on carpets, it automatically um, empties out the dust bin into like the upper part of it. It automatically washes the mop pad after it mops up and then um, it like it scrubs it. I'll show you that in a second, but it scrubs the mop pad and then it empties the dirty water into the dirty water tank on the top. I decided to pour out some milk to show you guys the mopping power. So I put it on spot clean so that it would just kind of take care of this milk mess and not do the whole kitchen again. But I really love the automatic um, mop pad cleaning at the end. So when it goes to its home, it starts washing the mop pad and it empties out into the dirty water tank and you'll be able to see the scrubbing action that goes on under the pad. So when you lift it up, you'll be able to see like that little thing right there. It's scrubbing the mop pad and cleaning it really well. So yeah, when the mop is done washing itself, then you have all this dirty water in here. And then you can also empty the dustbin. So first I'm just showing you how much stuff is in the dustbin after I cleaned my kitchen floor and there was a lot um, and then I'm emptying it into the little thing and yes I could have just dumped it in the trash but the thing is is this when the vacuum goes to its home it automatically empties the dustbin like it um, empties into the big dustbin so you don't have to constantly pull it out and dump it so yeah Alrighty, so now I am going ahead and vacuuming the rest of my house, and by I, I mean the robot is. That's the beauty of it. I don't have to do it. So I love that I can just turn this on at night and go to bed, you guys, or I could, you know, turn it on when I'm ready to relax at night, and I can just sit on the couch watching a movie and let it do its job. Um, I, since we have a step down into our kitchen, I just laid these chairs out right here to give it a nice barrier so that it would not crash and fall into the kitchen. Um, what I love about this robot compared to the ones I've had in the past is it does not crash into anything. So once it senses something in front of it, it slows down and goes away. It does not just like crash into the baseboards or crash into the chairs or the table or anything like that. So I love that. And the best part is you can just sit back and relax. You can watch a movie, watch a show, you can do some work, whatever you need to do. And it just vacuums your house for you while you literally do nothing. Another great feature about this mop vacuum is that when you are doing um, mixed surfaces, so like the hard floor and the rug, the mop pad has an automatic 8 millimeter lift so that it's not rubbing the mop pad along the carpet. It like automatically lifts it up 
and then when it goes back to the hard floor it lowers the mop pad back down and it starts mopping the floor so I like you can barely tell I tried really hard to zoom in but when it's when the mop pad is on the rug it is lifted up and then when it's on the hard floor it goes down to the ground and I went through after this and felt around and the rug was completely dry and the hard floor was wet. Okay and then the last feature that I'm going to talk about is the pick up and place feature. So I love how they have this easy to hold handle and you can just easily carry it from one place to another. So if you have like a two-story house you could bring it upstairs. Um, in this case, we don't have a two-story, so I am just putting it in my bedroom, and then I shut my bedroom door so that now it can just vacuum and mop my whole bedroom without, you know, going out into the hallway and getting redirected and stuff like that. And here you can see how it will just also avoid the carpet altogether if you want it to. So I absolutely love this thing so much. Thank you, Yidi, for sending me this robot vacuum. I hope that you guys will check the link in my description box if you are interested. If you are in the market for a robot vacuum, definitely consider the Yidi Cube. All right, here it is just automatically going into its home, and it will empty its dustbin. It'll clean the mop pad, and it'll be ready for tomorrow. Don't forget to check the link in my description box. All right, let's get back to this video. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't want to be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna
So I don't know if you can tell, but I was watching a movie while I was doing the dishes. Well, not a movie, but my show. I was watching my show. Leave a comment below and let me know what type of show you guys like to shows you guys like to watch when you're doing chores and stuff. It always helps me when I have a really big job to do to like entertain myself at the same time. It just helps the time go so much faster. Helps it to be a little more enjoyable too. So did you guys notice that I put our shoe bench outside? Yay! I have been wanting to do that for a while now. It's been driving me absolutely crazy. No one puts their shoes in there when they come in and the shoes just form this huge pile by the front door. I can't stand it. It is something that we clean up like every day. But still, it's something that literally makes me crazy. And so I just decided, you know what? I'm putting this outside. So everyone put their, like, going somewhere shoes is what we call it. But, like, their town shoes or their church shoes or 
co-op shoes or whatever you want to call it. They're shoes that they wear when we leave the house and go somewhere. I had all of them put those in their rooms and then all of their like outside shoes, their play shoes, um, shoes that they feed the animals with and stuff. Like all the outside shoes are out in the shoe bench. Um, and I'm just making it a rule that they can't come inside and kick off their shoes anymore. They have to kick off their shoes outside, put them in the shoe bench, and then come in with their bare feet so or socks or whatever I just the shoes bring in dirt they bring in grass they bring in hay goat poop whatever just there's always the floor is always so dirty right there and then we step in the dirt with our feet and then we track it over to the rug and the couch it's just it makes me crazy because it just feels like no matter what I can't keep the house clean so I figured if I put the shoes out, maybe that will help. Um, so far, it's going good. Um, and I might make some little um, school desks to go desks to go under the windows. Um, so I would have like two kids under each window on the front door wall. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. And um, what else? We are 99.9% .9 done with the front bathroom. So you guys are going to be seeing the bathroom um, finished very, very soon. And then as soon as the bathroom is finished, we'll be working on the TV wall again, which um, we just have to cut the butcher block counter. We have to add the hardware to the cabinets. I, it needs one more coat of paint. And then we're going to put shelving and stuff all around the TV. Um, I have a few different projects that... Um, I'm thinking about also um, so just bear with me and stay tuned and yeah give me love give me all your love oh cuz I want you no one else makes me feel this way don't know what you do hold my hand could you hold my hand look me in the eyes you and me yeah that's all I need and I'll be all right I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay Also, guys, I just wanted to let you know that I have been trying to work on making a lot of short-term, short-form content as well. So I'm still going to be keeping up with my normal YouTube videos, but I'm also trying to make shorts and reels on Instagram, shorts on YouTube, and then I'm also posting on TikTok now. So if you guys want to follow me on any other platform, um, on Instagram, I'm Jilly Beans, and I can post that in my description. And then on TikTok, I'm at home with Jill. So yeah, just make sure if you guys are on those platforms that you go ahead and follow me. And don't forget to check the link in my description box for the robot vacuum as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.